Okay, there it is. You see the headline. Why is global fertility falling and penises shrinking? Now, grammatical errors aside, I would just like to point out that we're asking an, a rhetorical question here. We know why global fertility is falling and we know why penises are shrinking. So let's look at the video. Evidence for decreasing quality of semen during past 50 years. Establishing the fact that infertility is in fact on the rise as with so many other medical conditions and maladies. So as you can see here is a litany of things that can cause infertility. Of course, the poisons that we put on ourselves and in ourselves, probably number one, that applies to these type of foods as well. Obesity, smoking, and stress. Miserable, high-paced, unhappy lives. And of course, plastics in the environment, PFAs, PFCs. Forever chemicals, that's what we call them, forever chemicals. Just think about that for a minute. We put forever chemicals in our water supply. Every piece of, every drop of water on this planet is polluted with these things. Why? Who signed off on this? Who thought this was a good idea? Well, we'll get to that later. So we got forever chemicals, of course, PFAs, PFCs, sperm counts decreasing. Here we go. Genital abnormalities, miscarriage, early onset puberty, erectile dysfunction. These are the effects of the forever chemicals in your water supply and in your food supply. Okay? This is chemical warfare. This is chemical warfare. Whether you want to acknowledge that it's purposeful or not, it still is, in essence, chemical warfare. And I think it is possibly being done on purpose. Genital abnormalities. How interesting that the whole transgender thing is happening right now when the pollution levels are so high that you're having these genital abnormalities and messing around with the hormones, obviously, that cause early onset puberty. You're, you're putting hormones in the water. You're putting estrogen mimickers in the water and the food. This is chemical warfare. And yes, penises are shrinking. What would it take to make anyone care about the environmental disaster, the, the extinction of species, the genocide of species. Would knowing that your dicks are shrinking make you care? Maybe, but I doubt it. People are just going to say, well, my, my dick is what it is. But statistically speaking, over time, every generation will have smaller and smaller penises statistically on an average that's the future this is yet another proof I'm giving you proof civilization will end if people can't reproduce <laughs> civilization will end civilization has written its own ending by polluting itself out of existence quantity does not equal quality Civilization gives you the illusion that having lots and lots and lots of people is better than having a few. But when you had a few people, those were quality people. And what we have now is quantity. And that's it. Okay, before we go, one good comment I found. We always knew that single-use plastic was going to be the end of humanity. We just didn't know it would be like this. Those are the forever chemicals, remember? People knew that this was going to happen. 
we did know it would be like this. Somebody knew. Chemically speaking, those are estrogen mimickers. That is not an accident. Or even if it was an accident, you still can't pretend that you didn't know they were estrogen mimickers, that you were putting human hormones into the food and the environment and the water. This was deliberate. The pollution of our planet is deliberate. I know this is very, very difficult to prove. Impossible to prove, really. And yet, based on circumstantial evidence, I do feel that it's true. And that this whole ecological catastrophe was actually planned out and perpetrated. For what purpose, I do not know. But... Yes, dicks are shrinking. Your son's dick will be smaller than yours, and your grandson's dick will be smaller than his, and your great-grandson's dick will be just like a nub. Or maybe it'll be one of those uh, genital deformities, abnormalities caused by forever chemicals, gender-bending chemicals in the water and food because we destroyed our planet because we wouldn't confront the great plague of child abuse, because all this environmental destruction is the actions of an abused child lashing out at the mother that gave it birth. Drop a line in the comment if you say no to dick shrinkage. It's wrong, it's unconstitutional, and yes, it probably is chemical warfare.